the tail of the tape for our main event of the evening. Donald Cerrone, 34 years old, is four years older than the Hawaiian Medeiros. He also has the height advantage at six foot one. Medeiros stands at five foot ten inches tall. But the reach advantage belongs to Yancy Medeiros at two and a half inches. Let's set the table one more time tonight with Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world from the Frank Irwin Center here in Austin, Texas. It is time for the main event of the evening. Five rounds this scheduled in the UFC welterweight division. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, the executive director, Brian Francis. The three judges scoring at octagon side, Chris Lee, Marcos Rosales, and Nick Wright. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is ready. Austin, Texas, make some noise if you are ready! Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his background in kickboxing and karate. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed it officially 170 and 1 half pounds. A veteran of 20 professional bouts, his record 15 victories, 4 defeats and 1 no contest. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, here is Yancy, the Kid Madera. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai fighter standing six feet, one inch tall. He weighed it officially 169 and one half pounds. And this veteran has a record standing 32 victories, 10 defeats, and one no contest. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Denver, Colorado, here is Donald Cabo. All right, gentlemen, you've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. I know we're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do this. Dare I say, these two fighters like each other as much as any two fighters have ever liked each other. Yancey Medeiros delivering a Hawaiian cowboy hat to Donald Cerrone at stare downs yesterday. A ton of mutual respect between these two guys who know what the fans want and know how to give it to him. Tonight's fight clock is presented by the United States Marine Corps. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is in the blue. Yancey Medeiros is in the black and moving forward right away. Now watch these good friends beat the crap out of each other. Again, it started so early, we all knew they would. Pick them fight, minus 115 on each side for these two fighters. Main event fighters are 5-0. and oh. The underdogs are 5-0 and oh. so far in 2018 in the UFC. There is no underdog in this one. And they'll each trade early and often. Spin kick from Medeiros. Given the experience of Cerrone, has a huge show of respect. The odds have this as a pick and fight for Yancy Medeiros. Three fight winning streak since he made the move up to 170 pounds. All of them ended in a finish. Most recently in Detroit when Medeiros weathered the storm of a different cowboy. Cowboy Oliveira from Brazil and got the third round TKO. Also was able to go into Brazil and beat Eric Silva last June. So he has won in hostile territory before and Donald Cerrone certainly has the, the crowd on his side tonight. A little more than a minute into the first round. Cowboy trying to get the timing. Nancy Medeiros is aggressive, but has a, a style that's very hard to time. Switches stances a lot, throws power, and then lead punches. Very, very strange. It's hard to figure him out. It might take Don Cerrone a second. Remember, he's a veteran. Body shot after the double jab from Medeiros. Connects on the right hand. Head snaps back from the jab of Cerrone. Good right hand, right over the top. Cerrone 
Leach fainted that takedown a few times, hasn't committed to it. And he wants to let Medeiros know that it's there. Medeiros doing what he wanted to do. Move forward, be the aggressor. Big swing there, but it's a knockdown from Cerrone. And he slipped, and how about that? A slip from Medeiros. Cerrone didn't want to win like that. Unbelievable. These two guys, man. Medeiros even brought us Hawaiian cookies. Our producer ate right. all of them. He ate every single one. Such a nice guy, though. We appreciate it. Big left from Medeiros now. Another, Another good shot, shot from Cerrone. Cerrone. We talked about the timing. I think Cerrone's starting to figure out a little bit of the timing when Medeiros comes in. Medeiros wants to move forward, but Cerrone successful with the counterattack so far. I mean, it took him a second to really get it, to figure out the attack. And you see Medeiros slowing down a little bit. He respects those counter punches. The crowd chanting Cowboy for the 11th ranked fighter from New Mexico. Big knee to the body from Cerrone lands. 90 seconds to go in the first round. Spinning attempt there from Medeiros. Momentarily walked up. Cerrone had the back. Some blood now on the head of Cerrone. Looks like a scalp cut. Oh, trading there. Each landing. Body shot from Medeiros. The important thing to keep in mind is that neither guy really, except for the head kick of Cerrone, is much of a one-shot power guy. They generally combo so effectively. They get you hurt, and then they swarm you. That's why they can trade these medium-level punches and still be in the fight. It's the guy that really puts them together that's going to get the finish. They clinch. Medeiros reverses position. Cerrone back to the fence now. With 40 seconds to work. Cerrone lands a right hand to the chin. And more combinations. And Medeiros swinging and getting hit at the same time. Medeiros doesn't move back. He tries to answer back. Tries to control his emotional response at times. Big right hand from Cerrone with short time. Medeiros is down. Cerrone looking to end it. And that is it. Before the horn. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is a winner again. Unbelievable. Heard him and swarmed him. Never let him off the hook. With just seconds remaining in that first round, he rocked Medeiros and finished the job just in time. When you imagine what Medeiros has gone through as a pro, we have never seen him rock that badly by one shot. Great stuff by Cowboy Cerrone. Great finishing instincts. And now Medeiros paying respect to his mom. That's, that's not his mother in the front I, row. I, but I know, but I, it's, it's Cowboy Cerrone's mother. He pointed her out and he jumped there. over. And the respect continues to grow. It's Cerrone's grandmother there in the front row. The Yancey Medeiros going to pay his respects to. That's amazing, man. Great stuff. Well, what a display. And some of the things that makes this sport so special. Our move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, bringing you closer than ever to the UFC, putting knockout coverage in your hands by covering 99% of people in the U.S. That's what made Grandma so happy. The finish of this fight. Look at that right hand, right on the jaw. The leg just go out from Medeiros. And look at that attack. The finishing instincts are still there. The accuracy is still there. Man, out go the legs, face down. Don't yet know the official time, but right at the end of the first round. Couldn't cut it any closer. Great stuff from Cowboy Cerrone in Texas. He needed this win, and he got it. The Cowboy rides again. And if you had any questions about this 34-year-old veteran, he's still got plenty in the tank. We make it official when we come back.
UFC Fight Night is sponsored by Cerveza Modelo, the official beer of the UFC. Inside the octagon for the final time tonight to make it official, Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Four minutes, 58 seconds. Round number one, referee Herb Dean steps in and puts a halt to this bout for your winner by TKO victory, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! I'm here with the victorious Cowboy Cerrone. How does it feel to promise a performance like that and deliver a performance like that in front of this crowd? Well, I knew Yancey was the guy to do it. He was going to stand there and bring it, but I'm a little more upset. My grandma gets more cheers than I do out here, so it's pretty cool, actually. Grandma's, <laughs> man. Everybody loves them. It seemed it took a second. We talked about his style. You said it is awkward. It's hard to get his timing. It seemed like halfway through the round, you started figuring out his timing and counterpunching. Is that how it felt? Yeah, and I just bit down and said, you know what? Let's go. That finish. Take us through it. End of the round, almost over. Not much time left. I know that's not on your mind. What were you thinking when you were swarming him? Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I didn't even know it was 10 seconds left either. It was just, I was just going for the finish. That's what Yancey and I both look for. And Hey man, it was cool as I think I just tied for the most wins in UFC history. So how do you make it the most in UFC history? What's next? Uh, you know, they call me, I say, where are we going? And that's all I need to know. Where, where, where are we next? That's all the fans need to know too. Cowboys Ronnie, congratulations, my man.